Hi guys, today we're going to be doing a partial get ready with me because I already have my face on and I'm going to focus on the eyeshadow look. Uh, I guess you may, may have noticed a tendency in my channel where I already have my face on and then I, I just do the, the eyes online, on camera. Uh, this is because eyeshadow is really my favorite item for, uh, to do my makeup with and it's really what um, I guess in, uh, entices my creativity. That and sometimes lipstick too, but uh, it's mostly eyeshadow really. If you notice my my brows have a slight purple hue to them. Today I decided to just give something new a try. This is the Norvina Volume 4 palette and I've used this eyeshadow over here which is B4. Letter B, number 4. I'm trying not to blind you with the mirror, this is why. This is it, right over here. B4. I've used that to, to do my brows today. You know, to go a little bit with the, with the hair. I've uh, retouched my hair. This is a get ready with me with a bit of a story time and this is why. Uh, a lot of you will recognize the Flamingo palette by Violet Voss. I've, I've had this palette for a couple of years. Uh, it, it has some usage. And I got it out of the drawer because I want to use it today. And what made me use it today is uh, I saw a video yesterday by Mrs. Mugwump. I'll link her, her video down below where she did a swatch party with this palette just came across her channel like I don't know a couple of weeks ago maybe and I really like her her uh, humor and the way she does her videos not boring at all I I always watch them from beginning to end and I really like the way she <laughs> she conducts a video so she does a series of um, uh, swatch parties she does uh, around five seven minutes uh, long videos and what she does is she, she she swatches the palettes and I saw that swatch party with this palette <laughs> and uh, It brought memories. I'll just do my I I look uh, while I tell you the story There's a couple of stories actually so a couple of things happened the day I I did one look with this eyeshadow palette. It was a couple of years ago and I think it was around Christmas time or it was winter. Some of you may find the, the kind of look a little odd for winter, but I guess I don't really like to, to say, oh, this is, uh, these are winter colors and this is a spring makeup look. No, I just do what I what I want basically. If I feel like a fiery look on a green winter day, I'll do it. it. Helps me cheer up with those winter blues that usually come along in those really gloomy days. Uh, it's This was after I got ready in the morning. My kid came to me and said, Mom, you have lava in your eyes. And I'm like, what? <laughs> All of a sudden, uh, of course, doesn't make any sense. I don't have lava in my, in my eyes. But it really looked like I did. When I, when I looked in the mirror, I'm like, oh, I know what you mean, kid. This does look... I was like... I had the, the idea of a sunset look all the time I was doing my eyeshadow. And he was like, wow, your eyes look like lava or you have lava in your eyes. And I'm like, yeah. So from that from that day on, the term term uh, sunset look doesn't really mean much to me. It's more this volcano look <laughs> that I I really yeah, that means more to me than sunset. And you'll see why in a minute. I guess by the colors I'm choosing, you'll know. 
Oh, wait, let me guide you through this a little bit. So, first I've used the shade Sandals down here. And now I'm uh, kind of blending it out with the, with the shade Popsicle, this brighter orange right here. Uh, I went to work and that same day I went to, with a couple of colleagues from work, we went to a shopping mall. One of them needed to do shopping, I guess, Christmas shopping. And I went, uh, I went to a Sephora, that mall at a Sephora, and I went because I think Fenty was releasing the, or had released their, uh, the, their first foundation, the Pro Filter, Matte, whatever. And I wanted to grab a shade to try it on. Uh, I stopped by Sephora. And they actually don't say anything. They just go, oh, may I help you? Can I help you with anything? You know, or you're just browsing and someone comes along, you just wish they didn't. At least us introverts <laughs> wish nobody came ask what we want. But yeah. So, and, she, and the lady looked at my eye makeup and she was like, wow, I love your eyes. You know, you could make two things out of this. Either she's just trying to get you to think she's nice and, and actually get to purchase stuff, or she could just be being honest because uh, my experience getting into a Sephora is that they just come to you and, uh, and ask, can I help you with anything, right? They don't really comment much else, at least from my experience. So I was like, wow, I felt really happy. First, my son said in the morning that he really loved the, the eye look, the, the lava look. And then that lady at, the, at Sephora complimented my eye look and I'm like, wow, thank you. These shades are so buttery. This is Violet Boss quality. Uh, yeah, that was a good day. <laughs> <laughs> so you did this this is the story. Uh, the eye look is halfway done. Oh damn it, I forgot to. I've used lemonade over here to blend blend out. I think I'm gonna use it a little more. Blend this eyeshadow out. And then I used island over here, this shimmer shade in my outer portion of my lid. And then I used pineapple, this yellow shimmer, and went from the inner corner and blended it with the, with, um, with the island shade. So, so far we've used one, two, three, four, five shades. I'm going to use a bit more of lemonade, this brighter yellow shade over here to blend out the brow bone yeah. the fiery summery look which is great to to use in the winter time <laughs> yes. these shades are precious. So beautiful. <laughs> I think I need to darken up my outer corner. I'm gonna use sandals again and just concentrate it over here in the outer, outer corner. And I'll see if I need to go in with, uh, with Sunny's, which is a black. We need some blending out. Popsicle again. I'm going in with the same brush. And then lemonade again in the other corner. 
and we're in the brow arch now. I never, I don't usually like to go in to go up this much, but I guess this I look calls for it. So yeah. This is pretty much how it looked. Um, I'm having trouble deciding what to do for my lower lash line. But I think I'm going to start by using sandals in the outer third with my smudgy brush by Real Techniques. Uh, by numbers, it's the... It doesn't have a number, it's just a smudge brush. Okay, let's... I may add a bit of purple. Let me add some bit of... a bit of pineapple. Alright, so let me do a bit of island to mix with the sandals shade. And now, now I'm gonna grab bikini over here, this shimmery purple shade. This is probably just a topper. I don't remember very well, but it's sort of acting like so. It's a very nice, very light purple topper over here with purple hues. I went like this. I didn't have a uh, liner or lashes because at that time I didn't have the habit of using those makeup items. But I'm going to do an improvement or an update or an upgrade to this eye look and do some lashes and liner off camera and uh, I'll come back with the full look so you can see but yeah this is, a, is how I went to that Sephora at the time I'll see you in a minute hey guys uh, I'm back with the lashes and the full look uh, this is it with the story this is what I call my lava look not sunset look <laughs> And yeah, apparently people at Sephora like it too. Well, yeah, not people, just, just one, one nice girl who said it was a nice look, but it, it, it felt nice to hear, I guess. Especially when we all know how... This, is, this may be a stereotype, and I hate stereotypes, but how people at Sephora look so judgmental or so rude always or also just professional not really nice or not really not nice just professional which is i guess their job but that comment she made was so spontaneous stuck in my memory and it's a good memory so yeah this is it um I've always enjoyed seeing purples and yellows. I guess you get you get those tones in a beautiful sunset. <laughs> I guess you could call this a lava look at sunset. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, or a, thumb a thumbs down if you didn't. Just interact, comment, tell me what you think. Tell me if you have this flamingo palette. Tell me if you like it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on my next one. Bye-bye.